Hello, Replay viewer. You are loved. Reverend Valerie Love at your service. Reverend Valerie Love at your service. Amazing being of love and light. Welcome. You're on Boost Morning Inspiration. Prayer, praise, and inspiration each weekday morning. Just tune in. Mia Flores! First one on the scope this morning. I got our card for today. Yay. Yummy, yummy. Card for the day. Card for the day. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Me, myself, I pretty. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am not seeing it. Good morning, Mia Flores. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We've got our cards for today. A card for today. Woo! We'll get into our card in just a moment after we pray. Real quick scope on your card for the day. Yes, yes, yes. Real quick scope. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Quick, quick scope. <clears throat> your card for the day, I'm Reverend Valerie Love, the Divine Midwife of Soul Destiny. I'm so very grateful for your presence here. I am so very grateful, ValerieLove.com. I am so thankful for your presence. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Swipe and invite. Swipe and invite. Swipe and invite. Swipe and invite. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Love seeing you chime on to the scope. Welcome. Thank you. Me, myself, I pretty for sharing on Twitter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Purple hearts. I love purple hearts. Who's on purple hearts today? Awesome sauce. We got a card for today. We have our card for the day. Y'all gonna love this card. You're gonna love this card. Today is a day of doing something extraordinary. My pleasure and I'm Purple Hearts. Come on. <laughs> Me, myself, I'm pretty. Purple Hearts. Love that. Coach Felita, welcome, welcome. Mia Flores, thank you and for inviting followers. Thank you, thank you. Good morning. Living again, 45, Beverly. How are you, Beverly? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I have an amazing card for us this morning. An amazing card, amazing card. Good morning, Coach Felita. How are you? How are you? Morning, morning, morning. See Tracy, 35. Great, 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 great all around. Great all around. We got our card for the day. See Tracy, we got our card for the day. What deck do I use? I use the Rider Weight Radiant. Radiant Rider Weight. I love Radiant Rider Rider Weight. I actually got this deck in New Orleans pre uh, Katrina, pre Katrina from Bottom of the Teacup. An incredible place there that does readings. Quite quite magical place there. Thank you, Coach Felita, for sharing on Twitter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Matter of fact, if y'all go back to our scopes over the weekend, was amazing. We went to Edgar Casey. Amazing. I love Edgar Casey. OMG, Edgar Casey. Simply amazing, amazing, amazing. And over the weekend, we saw so many decks. Edgar Casey has a lot of decks because, as you know, Edgar Casey was the sleeping prophet, also the most well documented psychic of all time the most documented well documented psychic of all time they know him as the father of holistic medicine as well as the sleeping prophet because he went into trance he was a medium he was a psychic medium how you can share on twitter oh you swipe and then you see the little twitter bird and it says share and it says shares share on twitter and share the link you can also get the copy link and paste it or share to facebook thank you mia flores thank you swipe left and share twitter thank you i use this rose water you use this rose water oh that is phenomenal i love that love it love it he had every kind of tincture you could he had sarsaparilla root tincture he had the most incredible when i say <laughs> this is what they have in the store thank you mia flores for sharing <laughs> thank you thank you thank you he has the most amazing amazing tinctures in the store and he's big on castor oil castor oil because he is called uh the he calls uh castor oil palma christi palm of christi and chris palm of christi means hand of christ literally the palm of christ because castor oil is so healing they called it palm of christi that means that is as healing almost as healing as the hand of christ on you that's how the healing properties of castor oil and our people knew this way back in the day because they sure certainly did give us lots of castor oil my mom when we saw her getting out that that bottle 
It was like, Ugh. that, and she gave us cod liver oil every morning before we went to school in the winter time. Cod liver oil in the winter time. And she also gave us Father John's, but that's another story. Castor oil. And what I love about Edgar Casey is he does not believe in taking castor oil orally because a lot of times it's very strong on the stomach. I will run. That's exactly what happens. It makes you run. He didn't believe in doing that because he said that when you take castor oil, that way it is very uh harsh on the system he believed in taking wool and you take a little bit of wool like a cotton wool and you put the castor oil on the wool i use that to put me in labor Woo! oh my goodness wow and you put the wool on the belly you put it on the abdomen and your body knows exactly how much castor oil to absorb through the skin to have the same effect of clearing you out you don't have to take it orally uh, the body is so intelligent. It's so intelligent. Oh, wow. Good tip for me what I'm doing. <laughs> Castor oil, baby. Castor oil is incredible. So we were there. Edgar Casey, quite incredible. We walked the labyrinth. We had an incredible, amazing time. I am so thankful for the family and for the family members who had the Edgar Casey over the weekend in Virginia Beach with us. Incredible. Next big event we got coming up. No, I don't recommend. Be careful. <laughs> I can imagine because castor oil gets stuff to moving. It's like, woo, careful, 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 careful. <laughs> Wonderful. Next big event we got coming up this Thursday night. Share with everyone, everyone, everyone. We have history in the making this Thursday night at uh, Morgan State University, go to my website and you will see under events that we have the launch, our pre-launch, East Coast pre-launch of Wakai Perfection, our health and wealth, health and wellness business. And oh my goodness, we're going to pre-launch at an HBCU this Thursday night. Woo! Packed. Over 300 people will be in the room. Well, actually, the room only holds 299. So if we have 300, somebody's going to be in the waiting room looking at it on video. So huge event this coming thursday go to valerielove.com click on events next big event your book in a day june 25th oh my god at the end of this month at the end of this month at the end of this month uh amazing well done oh my god it's so amazing june 25th your book in a day beloved it's time to write your book it's time to write your book it's time to write your day book it's a one-day event it's in maryland and as you know we meet near the and our, as our last event was this event will be in laurel maryland near the magic stores so we get to go on a field trip to the juju shop you know we love magic get to go on a on a field trip to the juju store and buy your crystals and wands and oh just anything your heart desires incense and necklace jewelry and they've got everything there they've got everything there that you could imagine what an incredible store it's the crystal fox thank you for sharing on twitter thank you oh that's our lead thank you our lead oh our lead we had a ball over the weekend i i heard your presentation was awesome and i heard king got to go and see your presentation so that was so awesome as well and our lead i sent your certificates uh you love the store that store is incredible isn't it mia flores that store is incredible and uh arlene you got your certificate did you get your certificate your amazing uh certificates yes i got it good 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 excellent wonderful wonderful i am so excited for all the newly graduated coaches congratulations again coaches for your amazing work in the world and for the amazing work that you will do let's pray and we're going to wrap up with your card for the day Great Spirit, our prayer simply is for openness, for understanding, for wisdom in all we get, in all that getting, get understanding, get wisdom. We know that we don't want to just have head knowledge. We want this experiential way of being with life to turn what we know in our heads into practical, applicable steps for our path and our destiny and our journey. We know we're always led, we're always guided, and as we walk, with full faith and confidence, we gain wisdom because we get to see how to apply the knowledge and we get to see what works and what doesn't work. And in our 10,000 hours, we create our mastery and we are so very thankful for wisdom. Who saturate our minds with the wisdom of the ages, saturate our minds with the wisdom of the ancestors, saturate our minds with the wisdom of the ascended masters, saturate our minds with the wisdom of Christ. So be it. 
Ashe. Hotep. Wisdom. Here is our card for today. It came as we were in our morning experience of welcoming all of our family members on board. Here is our card for today. It's the Ace of Pentacles. And let's go to the Ace of Pentacles meeting again. The Ace of Pentacles. Remember, let's talk about aces energetically. Energetically, what are aces about? Aces are about beginnings, seeds. And what I love about it, don't you love that, Amia Flores? What I love about it is yesterday was the new moon. The new moon was Sunday the 3rd. And we spoke of the new moon over the weekend on June 2nd. On that Saturday, we spoke of the new moon. And the new moon was on June 3rd, where you got the opportunity to implant new things into this moon cycle. And that's what the energy of the ace is about. The energy of the ace is about newness because the ace starts off the each suit of the tarot deck. We have pentacles representing representing the suit of the, the earth element. We have wands representing the fire element. We have um, uh, cups representing the heart, the, the, the um, element of water, which is the emotional nature of humanity. And we also have, we have swords which is the element of air, and it is representative of the mental, uh, mental, um, if I said there are four aspects of the human, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and these four suits match these exactly, also correspond to the four archangels, also correspond to the four elements correspondences 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 so check your correspondences because the correspondences always give you so much wisdom and understanding and insight correspondences i find the flower and the water on the new moon is that powerful oh yay awesome 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 sauce so aces are the energy of a seed the ace is not the full potential manifested of it yet it is telling you the seed and for us to get the ace of pentacles that means the seed of a great money gift is planted in your life right now right here the seed the seed kernel of a great money gift is planted in your life right now remember aces are potential aces are not the thing realized the ace is the potential once you have the potential you must work your potential you must fan the flame of your potential with your intention with your prayers and most of all with your action you must put your put yourself into it put your body into it also we know that in africa there is a statement that says, pray and move your feet, pray and move your feet, pray and move your feet. That's what the ace is about. The ace is telling you, you've got to see potential for great money coming to you. The money is a gift of the universe. Your card is glowing red. Woo, amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at this seed potential. And this is a hand from the universe. It's a gift of the divine. It's a universal gift and it's a gift to all. And it is for the accepting, receiving. You don't have to create a gift. If you feel worthy, deserving, knowing you deserve the best of the best, which you do, you deserve the best of the best. You're supposed to have all the wealth, riches, and abundance that you desire. You're supposed to have complete freedom financially. You're supposed to be abundant, thriving. You're supposed to be as wealthy or as, as delectably financially free as you desire that's defined differently by every person write it out and define what it means for you right thankful for your energy Woo! <laughs> indeed 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 you get to define what your wealth for you means some people a couple of hundred thousand a year is great they can travel the world they can go all the retreats they want to they can do whatever they want to ten twenty thousand dollars a month for some people it's millions because they have these big huge philanthro uh, philanthropic uh, 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 experiences that they want to engage in for some people it's multi-millions and for some people it's billions Whatever it is for you, boo, it is a yes from the universe. That's what this means. Whatever your financial dreams is for you, whatever your financial intentions are, it is a yes. This is a yes from the universe. Yes, it's already granted. Yes, go for it. Yes, it's already yours. Yes, take the leap in faith. Take the leap in faith. Now, this is what the angels are saying, that the reason that some of you have not manifested it yet is because though they showed you the path, 
You see the path on this card. Though they showed you the path, you haven't gotten up and started walking on that path yet or moving swiftly along that path because of fear. You're stuck. You saw it. You got the potential. Now there is something that spirit has given you to do that is going to take you on the path and it is out of your comfort zone because the creation of this riches, wealth, and abundance is outside of your comfort zone. It's not what you're used to. It's beyond what you're used to and you haven't done these things before. Get on the path, beloved. Get on the path. Get on the path. Get on the path. Start walking it. Stop walking it. Start walking it. Start walking it. And if I were you, I'd be running. When they showed me the path lately, I started running on the path. <laughs> I started running. We got not a moment to waste. And it's not because we're trying to be hasty. It's because we're certain. See, when you're certain, you can run. When you're certain, you can move. You get speed. And when you get that speed up, you get what we call momentum. What is momentum? Momentum is the universe behind you. What is momentum? All of the universal forces are at your back. What is momentum? It's the wind behind you. It's the wind beneath your wings. And next thing you know, you don't even have to run that much anymore. You can glide because there's this universal lift because you get momentum. That's how you break through the resistance. Some people are so afraid to step out on the path, start walking, start walking, start walking. They see that there's something that they're supposed to do. Call a person to do something or that they're supposed to get on YouTube and create a YouTube channel or that they're supposed to get on Periscope and create a Periscope, uh, you know, maybe 30 day challenge or something like that. They're just afraid, 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 afraid. Don't be afraid anymore, boo, because you're a fear. You're being afraid of walking the path is what's keeping you stuck and not in a greater experience of wealth, riches, abundance, prosperity. Every time I wanted to step to a new level of prosperity and abundance, there was something I had to do. There was some fear I had to overcome. There was something I had to do to break through to that next level. And that next level was calling me just like it's calling you now. It's calling you higher. It's calling you higher. But there's something that the spirit and there's something that spirit is asking you to do that is a, that's fearful, that's out of your comfort zone. Maybe it's investing stocks like our amazing mastermind group is doing. It's Maybe it's investing in your Bitcoin, you don't understand it, and, and there's some things because it's new, and you get some resistance, and you got to get stuck. Or maybe there's some, you know, business that you're supposed to start, and you you've been procrastinating on it because you have you don't know what to do. That's all fear, boo. Get over it. Get on your path. Start walking. Start walking. This is what I'm going to finish with. Let go of the how. How trips up more people than I've ever seen before. I was talking to a, um, um, an amazing member of our Millionaire Club the other day. And I asked her if she wanted a particular, this, this particular thing that she's going for. And she really, really, really wants it. And I said to her, okay, great. Do you really want it? She said, yeah, but I don't see how that's going to happen. I said, no, 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 no. We're, we're, on the, we're, we're in the wrong realm. No, no, no. You're, you're getting ready to hurt yourself. Come back to what's your decision. See, once you make a decision, the how shows up. Stop saying to yourself, well, how am I? I, I just don't see. I would like it, but I just don't see how that's going to happen. Of course, you don't see how it's going to happen. No one ever sees how anything is going to happen before they do it. Martin Luther King said he was going to change the world. He didn't know how that was going to happen. He didn't know who was going to come or who was going to help him or who was going to say yes or who was going to say no or what rallies were going to be scheduled and all that kind of stuff. He had no idea how he was going to do that. Mother Teresa was going to change the world. She didn't know how she was going to do that. Stop asking that question. It's a ridiculous question for a faith-filled being like yourself to ask. How? Who cares? When people say, well, where's the money going to come from? Wherever it is now. Where's the money going to come from? It's going to come from wherever it is now. That's where it's going to come from. Just do it. That's right. Just do it. Nothing great ever has the how presented to you before you do the thing. The how comes as you're doing the thing. If I could just convey this message in, in greater uh, import to more minds, more people would get up and live their destiny. Because so many people are caught up in, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Just start moving. Just start moving. Remember this. The next available, the next most appropriate step is always available to you in this moment. And it is the step that spirit has given you to take your next most appropriate step. Oh, beloved is always available to you. So what's the next most appropriate step? Make the phone call. See the next step that's right in front of you to take. It's always available to you and it's always accessible to you. And it's always the step that is to be taken. You already know what that step is, but you've been procrastinating on it. You've been afraid. You've been milling around in confusion. All of these are states of consciousness that are elicited by fear. Confusion is elicited by fear. Resistance, fear. Uh, uh, hesitation, procrastination, trepidation, fear. 
all of that faces of fear. Every time you ain't moving forward, it's fear. Point blank. End of story. It's not your computer messing up. It's not other people trying to get you. It's not the universe is trying to sabotage you. It is your own fear. As soon as you come to the realization that it is your own fear, I got to block somebody. I'll block you later. <laughs> as soon as you come to the realization that it is your own fear that is stopping you from powerfully moving forward, next thing you know, you start to you start to peel that stuff off, peel it off, peel it off. How do you peel it off? By diving yourself into the very thing that you fear. By calling the person immediately. By immediately getting up and taking action. Because once, remember, fear is the only unsustainable emotion. It cannot be sustained. If you have a fear that there's a monster under the bed, how do you get rid of that fear? If you're laying in bed thinking about the monster, thinking about the monster, thinking about the monster, oh my God, there's a monster under the bed, oh my God, there's a monster under the bed, oh my God, there's a monster under the bed. If you keep thinking about that fear and family block anybody that you see needs to be blocked, block them because it's about to be a block party up in this camp. <laughs> if you keep laying in bed thinking, oh my God, there's a monster under the bed, there's a monster under the bed, there's a monster under the bed. Well, there you have laying there in energy that does not need to be experienced when you could just simply get up and look under the bed and see there's no monster. See, anytime you face the thing that you're afraid of, the fear instantly dissipates. So I said to the sister, what do you want? What do you really, really, really want? And she said, I want it, but I don't see how. Well, of course you don't see how, beloved. You're not going to see how until you stand up and make the decision. But I tell you one thing. I've stood up and I've made a decision. And once I stood up and made a decision on anything in my life, that thing shifted, it moved, it, it had to do something different because I was different. You never know how. Woo! Thing like a baby. Don't make you. <laughs> you never know how. We don't know how the thing is going to happen. And we really don't care, do you? Do you really care? No. I don't care how God is going to do the thing. It's going to be wonderful. That's all you need to know. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be delicious. Be Why? Because your faith tells you so. Everything God does is wonderful. It's wondrous. It's miraculous. It's amazing. This is the concept. This is the the consciousness through which we are viewing the world, that it's wonder and it's beauty and it's inspiration and it's going to be miraculous and it's going to be joyful. See, this is the energy that we're bringing to all of our experiences. So of course the how is going to be wonderful and miraculous. Isn't it wonderful and miraculous how you met your love? Isn't it wonderful and miraculous how you found out you were pregnant and you're going to have a baby? Isn't it wonderful and miraculous when you finished your first book? Isn't it wonderful and miraculous that your first book got printed and published and you didn't even know how that was going to happen? Isn't it wonderful and amazing and delectable that you got that phone call from someone who he hadn't seen for years and all of a sudden it's an opportunity to do something great together isn't all of this wonderful and miraculous and none of it did you see coming and if they had asked you to put it all on a piece of paper there's no way you could have ever planned out step one i'm going to miraculously meet someone in starbucks today step two the synchronicity will kick in at 201 p.m i will do this i'll say this and that person will say that let go of control stop it stop it you're hurting yourself you're hurting yourself we're going to end with this. Allow, beloved. Allow. Allow your good. Allow your abundance. Allow your prosperity. Allow. 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 This is, a, this is a universe of allowing. Allowing. Align. 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 Align with the divine. And then act. 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 Right? Don't just sit on your couch. I'm allowing. Om. And I'm aligned. Om. And you don't do nothing. You'll get put out soon, boo. Because you need money to take care of your home. <laughs> be out on the street soon if you want to sit in meditation oh i am allowing no boo after you allow these are interstates of consciousness hello allow right and then align and then take action come on and then your action your action better be the mind five massive intense focus inspired action that you will love doing because i love writing i love sharing with you right now i love teaching i love creating the next class and creating the next book and creating the next coaching program and creating ministries and creating oh my god don't you love it don't you love it don't you love it don't you love it Woo! i'm excited <laughs> awesome sauce i love you family Mwah. Peace. We didn't even do our music this morning. It's okay. You know what to do. Oh, Brazil, Namaha. I love that. On YouTube, it's an amazing video. Om Shreem. Om Shreem Brazil, Namaha. Yes, 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 yes. Hello, hello, hello. Yay. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Love you. Have a beautiful, God bless a day. Okay, I think the broadcast will stop soon. If the stop broadcast button is working, it doesn't seem to want to work for me. <laughs>
isn't that amazing? It doesn't want us to leave.